Okay, so let's have our opening prayer. Good morning, Lord. Today's a new day. A chance for a new start. Yesterday is gone. And with it, any regrets, mistakes, or failures, I may have experienced. It's a good day to be glad. And give thanks. And I do, Lord. Thank you for today. A new opportunity to love, give, and be all that you want me to be. Today I want to start the day with you on my mind and in my heart. As I dress, let me wear the armor you've provided daily, the helmet of salvation, the breastplate of righteousness, the shield of faith, the belt of truth, the shoes of peace, and the sword of the spirit, with prayer on my tongue, praise for you, and petitions for those around me and those I meet. Feed me today with your daily bread, as the bread of life, your food, like manna, will sustain me throughout any trials and hungers. Help me to set my thoughts on things above, and to speak only what will help, and encourage others. Keep me from putting my foot in my mouth, and help me guard the affections of my heart today, Lord. Make whatever work I do be marked with excellence rather than perfectionism. As I seek not to make a name, but to make a difference, help me to treat each person I encounter as you would, with respect and love, forgiving others and asking for forgiveness myself when needed. As I start this day, help me remember that I belong to you, and my desire is to act accordingly, keep my feet from stumbling, and my mind from wandering into distractions that could steal precious time and energy from the most important things you have designed for me. I'm proud to be your child, Lord, and I'm so grateful that you died for me, rising again so that every day could be filled with the wonder of your love, the freedom of your spirit, and the joy of knowing you. I know earthly life is short and fleeting, Lord, but I want to live today as if it were the first or the last day of my life, giving thanks for every good and perfect gift you choose to give. Today, and every day, I want to live my life for you, Jesus. In your precious name, I pray. Amen. Amen. Okay. So that's it, we are ready. Now to to know more about our lesson for today, please watch the short song sung by Donna Cruz, one of the singers in our country. And this uh, song is entitled, I Can. So our lesson has something to do with the phrases, okay? Or the statements, I mean the lyrics of the songs. Please listen first. I can live, I can love, I can reach the heavens above, I can right what is wrong, I can sing just any song, I can dance, I can fly, and touch the rainbow in the sky, I can be Took you so long to make me see How lucky I am cause I am free Free to do the things I wanna do What took you so long to make me feel I can give love a love so real What took you so long to let me I can dance, I can fly, and I can touch the 
my audio is still okay? Yes? Alright. So, may nag-message ko siya sa akin na not okay. Now, um, what did you feel listening to the story, or listening to the song, I Can? Yes, anyone? Raise your hand if you want to answer. What did you feel like uh, when you are listening to the song a while ago? Yes, Abba? I feel touched. You feel touched. What else? Yes, very good. Okay, let's give a, uh, uh, you know, wala ba tayo dito emoticons or what? Wala, no? Unlike, um, unlike Zoom, we can use many emoticons there or, you know. Yes, Amer. I feel I can do anything. Yes. You can feel that you can do anything because the message of the song is like stating that I can do this, I can do that, and all. What else? One more. Bella? I feel free and feel free. Yes, and peaceful. That is why I, I let you hear this uh, song because it actually, you know, touch our heart, touch our emotions. It actually gives positivity to us, right? So by listening to the statement, I can live, I can fly, I can touch the heavens above. So our lesson has something to do with this statement. So what is the statement or the phrase that is repeatedly mentioned? Repeatedly mentioned in the song. What is the statement that is repeatedly mentioned in the song? Anyone? Anika. I believe I can. I believe and I can. Okay, that is correct. So the word I can. Now, what is with that word? And what is the relationship of that word to our lesson? So definitely, can is one of the words that we're going to discuss in this lesson. Because we are going to discuss about... Yes, we are going to discuss about this verb. And we call this, for a while, ayaw plus magana. Ayaw mag, oh, ayan na. Okay, we will call this verb. Ayan. Pag ano talaga, live is, yan. Yeah. 
we call this verb as yes modal verbs so say it modal or it with s modals okay now if you heard this word modals your clue is a special verb so will you please take note of that when you hear the word modals this is a special verb why because we have verbs like reach ran walk those are really verbs you can easily distinguish them right you can easily identify them walked as past tense um, put cut slice so those are verbs we have regular and irregular verbs now these modal verbs are what okay these are known as modal auxiliaries also or other words for auxiliaries are helping verbs again this is helping verbs used with main verbs again um Hindi siya magagamit. You cannot use that. We can, you cannot use this without the main verb. So you need the main verb, and you have the modals. Okay? They express particular mood or expressions telling whether the speaker wants to convey a fact, a possibility, or a command. Later, I'm going to present other modal verbs. Okay? But one of those modal verbs is can and that is what is stating ability just like the song i can love i can fly i can touch the heaven above so that is what modals and one of the example i said is can now let's go back so will you please uh, share your thoughts about your abilities also what you can do okay for uh, 10 seconds, will you please think what you can do? What are your abilities? I can blank. Continue the sentence. I can blank. Those skills na hindi pa namin alam, we don't know yet and you want to share to us. I can. Anyone? Sige, raise your hand. I can blank. anyone okay let's have jester i can run fast okay i can run fast that is correct i can rust run fast so i can run yes what else yes kia I can take care of my nephew. I can take care, yes, of my nephew. At a very young age, diba? You can already, like, uh, take care of your relatives or your little nephews and nieces. Okay. What else? Yes, Abba. I can fix the TV when there is a technical problem. Wow, nice. <laughs> you can fix technical problems. Very good. How about Mia? Again, again, will you please repeat me? Yeah? I did not hear that one. I can use instruments. Yes, like what instrument? Lele. Mm, nice. Very good. Akiko, yes. Go. Kiko, what? I can blank. I can play piano. I can play piano. Wow, you are musically inclined, huh? Mia can play ukulele and you can play piano. I hope somebody can also play guitar and, you know, drums. And you can actually have your own band. <laughs> Meron na rin kayong singer. I think sino pwede maging vocalist? Pwede nyo siyang gawin and perform. Right? Who else? Yes, uh, let's have Sophia. I can draw. I can draw. Wow, very nice. So I hope 
you can apply or you can showcase your talents one of these days that we can use as your, as your presentation um, in our subjects, for example, performance tasks. Okay, now let's continue. Aside from can, we have more modal verbs, and I'm going to introduce that to you all. Okay, now, uh, okay, please take down notes. Again, take down notes because last time when I checked your notebooks, uh, there are some of you who, what? There's no any writings on his or her notebooks. But there are some naman na I really applaud or I really congratulate because their notebooks are like very nice, nice handwritings. Like, for example, if I'm not mistaken, anyway, I recognize ko naman yan one of these days. But if I'm not mista mistaken, that's Miel, Dana. I really like the handwritings and notebooks. Aimer also. And yeah, JM, I think. JM. Yes. And there are more, pero bak hindi ko na mention. Anyway, may recognition tayong gaganapin. One of those is to recognize who, like, having, like, or has the complete writings on his or her notebooks. I think Diana also. And I check also may mga computations sa notebooks, especially math notebooks. Meron namang wala talagang laman, as in empty. Okay, I will not mention, but I will just, uh, I already inform your parents about that. Kung sino yung notebook, notebooks na empty. I, that is why, please, take down notes, especially if there are some new words or new um, information being given this uh, lesson. Now, at the end of this class also, you are to compose or make your own sentences with modals. Okay? So, let's proceed. Modals. Now, let, look at the dialogue or the Let's look at the sentences Marge uh, says in this conversation. So Marge says, Bart, you must go out of this room immediately. Okay, there's a modal verb there, and that is must. And another, oh, Lisa, you should go out and see some friends. Okay, the modal verbs is the highlighted words or the words in in bold letters or uppercase letters. Another is, okay, Bart, you can go out. Okay, so another is can. So these are examples of modals. Another examples are this one. So now let's see how modals is used in, in above slide. Why it is. Okay, so we're going to have definition, structure, and how to use. We have this three. Again, we have definition, we have structure, and how to use the modal verbs. Modal verbs, again, aside from the definition that we have a while ago, is this is also indicate modality, which means, which means that is likelihood, ability, permission, or possibility. For example, two of my friends can play guitar. Can is what expressing ability so a while ago you have like given your own abilities for example mia said she can play ukulele so that is ability okay i can play piano according to akiko that is ability i can run fast that is ability okay so anything that is like stating ability and using can that is a modal verb Okay, let's continue. These are the least of other, or uh, some of the modal verbs that we have. We have can, we have could, may, might, will, would, shall, could, ought to, and must. This all can be called modals. Again, 
when you hear the word modas, these are special verbs. Another name for that. So when I ask, what are special verbs? You will answer, modals. Or it can be, modal verbs. Kapag ginamit niyo yung modal verbs class, please remove the S. But if you are using only modal, you need to add S. Modal verbs or modals. Again, you cannot use this verb without the main verb. For example, when you say, I can dance, there is dance, the main verb. I can fly, there's the main verb fly. I can run, there's the main verb run. You cannot say, I run. If you're stating ability, I dance. If you're stating ability, there should be can. If you want to state ability. Okay, structure. So these are some of the structure. For example, you're going to use subject. It can be a pronoun like I, he, they, you, he, she, and it. And you have the modal verb or yes, must, can, should, may, and will. Main verb, for example, go, drink, eat, and do. Those are the main verbs. Okay. So, I must, for example, eat some food is a main verb. So, that's how we use that. That is the structure. Kahit huwag kopyahin lahat, yung pinakaano lang plus important things. Now, let's continue. Modal verbs. Modal verbs do not add S or ES to the, th uh, to the third person singular. For example, you will say, he can swim. You cannot say, he can swim. That's a no, no. Do not add S. Even if it's a singular, you can, you, can, you cannot say, she can play. Maybe she can play. She can uh, dance. Right? Okay, let's continue. Modal verbs, we have simple, we have continuous, we have perfect, and we have perfect continuous. So when we say simple, you can just write this as if you are like picking or Using the word, for example, could. I could work. Uh, I want to use can in a sentence. I can dance. So that is simple. I will work. That is simple. He could work. That is simple. Continuous, you're going to add ing plus b. For example, I could be working. Could be working. Could be working or they could be working. So... What words are like added in this sentence? B, B, E, and I, and G. What the difference? Simple and continuous. Definitely, when we use perfect, you include there that is using the past participle of the verb, if you still remember. What is the past participle of the uh, verb work? It should be worked. I could have worked. He could have worked. It could have worked. They could have worked. That is imperfect. So again, your clue, kapag perfect, my ED. There's a past participle form of the verb. Continuous, your clue is ING plus B. Perfect, may additional lang, yung have word. Next, perfect continuous. You can use perfect continuous. I could have been working. He could have been working. It could have been working. Or they could have been working. So yung continuous, kung mapapansin yung class, you're saying be only. But for perfect, since we are using already the past participle, or we are using perfect tense, we're going to use been. Okay. The past form of B is been. Yes. Now, let's proceed. Okay. Modal verbs don't need auxiliaries to form negative and question. For example, 
she should stay. So, hindi mo pwedeng sabihin she doesn't should stay. You will just state she shouldn't stay. And then, why does she stay? Huwag gagamit ng ganun, ha? Why does she stay? It should be, why should she stay? That is the, the right way. And then, you cannot use canning. You cannot use ing for can. Or to might. You cannot use to might. That's a no-no. Okay, let's continue. Modal verbs. How to use? Number one muna tayo, class. Let's have can. So this is the first one. So on the left side, you can see there the use or uses of can. And an example on the right side. If you want to state ability or possibility, this is the example. They can control their own work. Just like the examples that you have given a while ago. That is ability. Or that's, uh, that's a possibility. Possible you can work on that. You can do that. And there's what? Opposite of that is impossibility. If, for example, you can do this, pwede mo naman sabihin, I can't do that. We can't fix it. So the word can't means cannot. You cannot do that. Because you cannot, you really can't. <laughs> okay? So, for example, what are the things you cannot do? You, can you do like carpentry? A simple carpentry? You will answer, no, I can't do that. For example, you're being asked, can you travel? No, I can't travel. It's still pandemic. We need to stay home or at home to be safe. Next, you can use can by asking permission. Can I talk to you? That is your asking permission. Can I help you? That is another, right? Asking permission. Can I bring here? A. Eh? Can I walk with you? Those are asking permission. Now, request. Oh, that's asking permission or request. Sometimes it sounds similar. Okay. Can you help me? Yeah, those are the uses. So take note of the uses, class, for modal verbs. We have possibility, ability, impossibility, permission, and request. Let's proceed. Could. What are the uses? Naghihiwalay lang yung ibang letters or word class, but please, uh, I will just, um, you know, tell you what to do with this one. These are the uses. One is permission. Could I borrow your dictionary? Could I borrow your dictionary? Request. Could you, could you say it again more slowly? Could you say it again more slowly? So that is request. Possibility. I think we could have another tea. I think we could have another tea. Future. I wish. <laughs> what name is this? Okay, I wish. Uh, let's change it. Yeah. Why the class? Yeah. Can be Cinderella. Could meet me next week. And then ability. He gave up his old job so he could work for us. That is the ability. He could work for us. 
Now, there are, you know, next time I'm going to uh, discuss plus what is the difference in using can and could, might and may, for example. But today, we'll just, uh, you know, identify the uses and then the example. Could. Again, the uses are permission, request, possibility, future, or ability. Now, let's proceed to may. We can use may in, you know, permission or possibility. May I have another cup of coffee? Coffee. So that is permission. May I, may I borrow your notebook? May I go out, sir? Sir, may I go to the comfort room? That is another modal verb, may. Possibility. There's just a possibility. It may, like, happen. I may finish my homework. It means when we talk about possibility, pwede mo rin namang hindi magawa. But there's a, a, a large, a huge possibility that you can finish your homework. Especially if you will focus on doing so. Okay? So it ups, it, it's actually up to you if you can finish or not your homework. On time. Because you are the one naman who is like managing your time. Right? Okay, next. Let's have might. Might is also possibility. We'd better phone tomorrow. They might be eating their dinner now. So, it, I will not go to the mall or I will not go to the, the beach at my train today. Possibility, right? Pwedeng umulan ngayon. Okay, there's a possibility like that. So, you can use might. Now, let's continue. We have ought to. So, two word. Ought to. So, magkasama sila. Saying what's right or correct. Again, when you use this one, you are like stating or saying what's right or correct. Correct. For example, she ought to finish by next week. For example, you have your project in science or whatsoever. You have something to do. You will say, I ought to finish my work on uh, Tuesday or next week. Meaning you are stating correct or you're saying what's right or correct. Next, shall. Shall is to offer. Shall I help you with your luggage? That is, you know, offering. Shall I call you? I shall I uh, bring, you know, some food to your house? Mm. You're offering something. Suggestion. You can suggest using shall. Shall we say 2.30 then? 2 and 30 or 3 tenths then? Okay. You can also use as permission. Shall I do that? Or will you? Shall I do that? Or will you? So that is... Permission. Let's continue. Should. Okay, shall, should, magkano naman siya, class, magka-pair. So next time I, I said, I'm going to, you know, um, add some more information. What is the difference between can, could, in, use, in usage, might, may, and shall, should. Saying what's right or correct, we should solve this problem. Right? Just like what we're doing in mathematics or what or any subjects, we'll say, we should finish our work right now. So that is saying what's right or correct. Should be possibility or can be possibility. 
fees should decrease next year? Possibility. Fees, for example, tuition fees. Uh, tuition fees should decrease next year. That's a possibility. And we'll have will. Yes, it can be decisions. I can see any taxes or I'll walk. I can't see any taxes or I will walk. Ibig sabihin, your, that's your decision now. You cannot uh, see taxi, so you will just walk. I will walk. Okay? That is shortcut class for I will. I'll. And then to offer. I'll do that for you if you like. I will do that for you if you like. To offer. To promise. I'll come back on Monday. So when you say, when you are promising or making promises, for example, sir, I will submit it. Before 4 p.m., you need to do that because that's a promise. Do not break promises. <laughs> right? It hurts. It really hurts. Now, let's proceed to would. Okay. Permission it can be request or invitation. Would you mind if I brought a friend with me? That is a permission. Parang in Filipino, okay lang ba na magdala ako ng kaibigan sa party mo? Kahit hindi siya invited? Oh, that is permission. Request. Would you mind waiting a moment? Is it okay? Okay, that you're asking request. Or you are like stating an invitation. Would you like to play basketball this Friday? Would you like to come here and play with me? Okay. I can't. It's still pandemic. We cannot <laughs> we cannot, you know, meet together. That is wood. Next. All right, these are the the models what we have. Models, right? We have might, we have should, we have could, we have shall, we have will, and we have must. Okay, those are the models. Okay, that's the end of our discussion. So to actually class, uh, easily remember the models, these are the pairing. Can, could. Okay? Shall, should. Will, would. May, might. So, waluna, And then, O2. So, you have nine. Okay? So, again, remember the pairing para mas madali nyo silang ma-identify. Can, could, may, might, para yung M. Could, I mean, shall, should, para yung S. Will, would, same W. So, these are the pairings. All right? Okay, so these are the modal verbs or modals. Now, okay, let's proceed to some exercises before you construct your own. All right. Now, will you please get your show me board and write your, st your sentences right there? Para mabilis scoring ma check. Kasi if you're going to write it on our paper, and then check after it takes time pa. Okay, are you ready? Okay, will you please use Okay, will you please use will? Okay. Will you please use will first? Stating a promise. 
Will you please write, uh, I mean, use will when you are stating a promise? Ready, go. Who's done already? Raise your hand if you're done. Okay, Annika, will you please read your sentence? I will do that for you. Yes, that is correct. I will do that for you. So the word will is, that is a modal verb. Abam, is there, ipakita nyo rin sa akin while, ano, while reciting your show me board. Okay, go. Abang. I will keep your promises in me. I will keep your promises in me. Okay, I will keep your promises in me. It means whatever you promise, I will keep it, right? Okay, that's correct. Akiko? I'll go to your birthday. Again, again. I will. Uh, I'll go to your birthday. That's correct. Don't forget to arrive period or put some period at the end of the sentence, okay? Alia? I will drink my milk. I will drink my milk. That is correct. Okay. Yes, Amer? I promise I will do my homework later. I, I promise I will do my homework later. Okay, that is correct. Yes, who else? Eman? I'll be done watching until 5 p.m. Okay. So you're making promises. So, <laughs> siguro, yun yung sinasabi mo sa tatay mo, Eman. I mean, that's the usual thing you say. Especially when your father is like scolding you or, you know, mad at you because you're not doing your homework. Okay, father, I will finish watching at 5 p.m. And then after that, work again. I mean, do my homework again. All right, Diana. I will work hard on this project. It's successful. I will work hard for this project to become to be successful. Okay, can we? Yes. Who else? Jester? We will go. Show it. Say it. Say it. We will go to the carnival. Okay. Correct. Sophia. Dinner tonight. Okay, will you please show it? Let me see your I will make. Okay. Correct. Mia. Sound. I cannot hear. Just show it if the sound is not okay. I will make my family proud. I will make my family proud. Okay? In me or to me. Yes, Kia? I will take a nap later. Okay. Correct. Santara? I will study after the movie. Okay, I will study after watching the movie. Yes, Toby. I will not go outside until I finish my homework. Very good. <laughs> That's nice. Okay, correct. Yes, Roshana. I will take you to the park if the quarantine is over. Yes. Do that. Go. Go anywhere you want. If the quarantine or the pandemic is over, okay, do something that will make you happy. Yes, Bella. I promise I will go back tomorrow. Yes, I'll promise. 
I'll go back tomorrow. I'll go back tomorrow. Yes, who else? Not yet cold. Marius, are you there? Can you hear me? Marius, please uh, say your sentence or share your answer to me, to your classmates. I think Marius not there. Percy? I promise I will give Okay, yes, correct. Oh, Marius, you're there. Go, oh, Marius. I think Marius' connection is having like some trouble right now. Jaisley? I will definitely come at a convenience store as I promised to my mom. That's correct. Okay, Carl? Carl? Carl. Hello, Carl. Mga converge na, ano, parang nawawala. Internet connection. Who's not yet called? Santara called already. Amika. Okay, hello. Hannah first. Hannah. I will decorate that cake for us. Okay, correct. Yes, let's have JM. Hi, JM. Are you there? JM. Not there. Dana. I'll, I'll promise I will do my devotion after. Okay, very good. Correct. Okay, it was not yet. Cold here, Toby, okay, Dana, Amika, Bella, yeah, cold already. Okay, let's continue. Another example, but this time, para class mabilis kong ma-check, we will type it in our chat box, okay? Right, so the, the next thing to do is, how are you going to compose a sentence using this word? Um, Chal, you are offering something. Chal, you are offering something. Okay? May type your answer now in our chat box. Ready, go. Chal, you are offering help or anything. Chal. I'm waiting for the answers. I shall give you money. <laughs> Guys, I'm spelling Eman. Eh, now we go out later. Correct, Roshana. Very good. Uh, um, when you are typing Eman, eh, please, wag all caps. Ano, ano nyo yun sa EPP ninyo, yung call that netiquette. You are typing or chatting someone. Do not use all caps. I will be glad. I'll... Diana will use shall. Shall I help you with your things? Correct. Bella, I shall do anything I want. Bella, you are offering something. You are you know, offering. This track another sentence. Shall I give this headphones to you? I shall give you the merch tomorrow. I make a period at the end, ah. Shall I give this advice? Oh. Shall I help my sister for her homework? Correct. Uh, I shall pay your bill. Wow. Very, very passionate. I shall give you money. Really? Shall I help you? When, are you, when you're using I, it should be in capital letter. I. Shall I help you with your homework? What else? Okay, some more. Please type your answers now. I shall give you food. Okay, that's correct. Shall we go to the mall later? I really love to, but I cannot. Shall we go to the mall later? Shall we go to the cinema this evening? Yes, I really love to also, but we cannot
Shall I buy some kits for my siblings? Yes, you can. I shall give you iPhone. Really, I really love that. Please send it to me now, right now. Shall I cook some pancakes for breakfast? I really love pancakes. So, uh, you can actually bring it to me and cook that to me right now. I shall go to a vacation. I really love to also, but I need uh, like swab test before I go somewhere. I, I, I already want, I already had my swab test last time. I don't want to have it again for the second round. You shall attend the meeting. Shall I help you with your chores? Really? I shall give you my echo. Is that, is that right? Waffles? Yes, definitely. I love waffles. Who else? Shall I help? Okay. And sino ba hindi ko nabasa? Very good. So, you know what class? When you are writing anything or you are reciting, you are graded. Mas malaki yung points ng participation uh, sa ganito uh, virtual than the, the things you are submitting. Although, yeah, you are gaining points naman sa you are like submitting. But, highest pa rin you are uh, participating during class. Okay, let's proceed to number three. So we are going to use We're go going to use might. You are stating a possibility. Might. You are stating a possibility. Please spell your might is M I G H T. Okay, so think first before you type your answer. Might and then you're thinking. I will read now the answer. Okay. I might finish my project next. Okay. Correct. That's the possibility. You might be angry at me. Ella might buy a house. Wow. I might go to the different country. Different countries. I might go to a different country. It might rain today. Yeah. Because the, the weather is not fine. Might eat breakfast. Might lose the round. Period, please, after the sentence. I might cook some food before my father comes. Oh no, she might get sick. She go outside without mask. Wow, nice. Very, you know, relevant. I really like, I really love, I like sentences na relevant. She might buy some presents for the family before she goes. Buy some. She live na lang. It might rain tomorrow. Tomorrow talaga. Tomorrow talaga, Emma. So anyway, that's correct. I might go to my grandpa's house. Pass the exam. I might fall down. I might move to another school. You might give the car to mom. It might rain today, it might be windy all day, lose the round. Very nice. So as I can see, naman, you are all doing well in this lesson. Now, another activity class, this will be a task. A task, rather. Tasks. This, are, this will be like a pair activity. 
a dialogue, but I don't know if how you'll do this kasi we are like online. But I want to have like a Did pairing. Lang po. Yes, a pairing activity. Okay? So, we'll pick a pair and then you're going to talk how to do it. Like through Zoom. Zoom. So, yeah. We'll meet or chat. Pwede po ang tatluhan. Kasi po 27 na po kami eh. Pero, by sabis na Okay. Oh. As long as um, you as Boom. Ako po sa... Yes. Kung sa Google Meet, gagawa ng link, di ba? Tapos, papasok ngayon yung kaklase mo. Pwede kayo doon magawa na station. As if you are talking to each one. To, to each other. As if may conversation talaga kayo. Or, another thing, if you can edit videos, you can record it. Then, buy nyo na lang. Harap na ganun. Kung kayo nyo mag-edit ng video, parang it's hard video that way but anyway anyone anything you want as long as there is like a conversation between you and your friend and you are using what modals for example for example conversation hello uh, uh, for example my friend is Arnold hello Arnold how are you can I talk to you yes what do you want to say Will I invite you to my birthday party Wow, oh, nice. When will be your uh, birthday party? It will be online. Can you present? Oh, so meron ng can. Can you, can you sing? Okay, can you present or can you, you know, something for my party or dance? Meron na. So, you are going to use as many as you can mga modals to a conversation. Talk with your pair. Pwede kayo mag-talk mag sa chat, kung paano nyo siya track. Dapat may story din. And then, para din kayo nag-roleplay. Kaya lang, so pwede pumunta sa kabilang bahay or sa bahay ng kaibigan. You cannot do that. You, cannot just, you can just do it like online. Now, uh, is that clear? Yes? Or no? I will not post it anymore to the GC kasi na, naunawaan nyo naman. I, I believe you are... Magkahanap po ba kami ng partners? Um, or i-assign nyo po. So, since this is the first time that we have this pair activity, you choose first your pair. Go. Please type it on our chat box kung sino yung magka-pair. Go. Akiko and Anika. Sir, meron pong labis na isa kapag pairings lang po. Okay, so we'll just add kung sino yan. Amer and Abam, is that okay? Yes, right. First and Carl. Oh, bakit si Amer, J.S. Lee? Ano ba? Please give me the final ano, kung sino ba talaga. J.S. Lee, si Angelica. Uh, Amer, kayo na ni Abam. Suya and Diana. Okay. Toby. Toby and J.M. Okay. Go. Para makita ko kung sino yung walang ka-pair. Kasi yung isang walang ka-pair, ay i-add ko sa, or mag-choose sa kung sino yung gusto niyang kasama. 
Ara and Santara. Tia and Alia. Bella and Amika. Alam ko na talaga kung sino yung Loki 9A2. So. Percy and Roshena. Uh, Marius is not yet mentioned. Marius. Jester. Yeah. Anna, are you there? Anna, who's your, who's your pair? Anna, Kia. You can do the, the pairing na, Anna and Kia. Pwede na kayong dalawa, I think. Sir, si Miel po yung kulang. Miel, yes. By the way, it's up to you, ah. Huh? You can actually do the chat. I uh, use the chat. Uh, Messenger chat or Google Meet. Kasi sa Google Meet, madaling mag-record. Alam ko naman, kaya niyong gawin plus yung mag-create ng sariling link, right? Kasi naman. So, I will teach you how to, to create link. Sa Zoom naman, kung Zoom, madaling naman mag-create ng Zoom, uh, mag-schedule ng ano. Then, mag-record doon, madali lang din. Yes, Jester, who's your pair, Jester? Um, when I watching movies, like, you know, too normal kasi may mga movies, meron akong nakikita na mga scene about online class, they are also doing this one. Yung may groupings din, pero they are talking like, magkalayo sila, pero they are like collaborating, helping each other, then uh, presenting something, you know, unique A presentation. Sing any naman any platforms can be used si marius na lang kasi kasi jester jester are you are you there marius are you there can you hear me my man was your pair eman and so far ko ni marius kayo ni marius ah okay marius and uh, eman who else miel was your pair miel is Miel here? Wala pa po. Kakagising niya pa lang daw po. Ay. Pero po po. Yeah, po Kia and Hannah, right? Yes. Jester. How about Jester? Jester, hello. Who's your pair? Uh, please update me how's your pairs at in GC kasi class. Uh, you will focus on this activity. I will not give any activity for this morning. Okay? So you need to talk after, you know, taking some break or, you know, to your staff first, kung ano man yung gagawin nyo for 15 minutes and then go back and then bahala na kayo when or what to do. And to talk, kung anong time kayo mag start Basta this morning, dapat somehow ma mapag-usapan nyo na and to, you decide what to do and what to talk. It's any conversation. Talking about party, talking about games, talking about what you like, whatsoever. Any topic under the sun naman is okay. As long as you are what? You, you are to use all the models that we have discussed in this lesson. Okay? Deadline. So, this morning you will talk first and think of what to do. I-shoot nyo muna. Pero yung submission talaga, class, is I will give you time to submit kasi pa pwedeng ulitin nyo siya kasi hindi maganda yung output. Hindi naman siya magagawa ng ganun kabilis, right? So, I will give you time until um, tomorrow. 
submit this um, final output. So, yung sasubmit niya, it can be an audio. Pwede yung nakarecord siya sa audio. It can be a uh, MP3 file. Pwede naman siyang MP4 file, video file. Okay? So, it's up to for you to decide. Pasok lang ni Miel. Ayan. So, that's it. So, please inform me, ha? Uh, uh, kung sino yung magkakaroon pa ng another pair, kung sino yung magiging tatluhan kasi nga may isang labis. Okay, class. See you later. See you at uh, 1 p.m. We'll have our science class. And please study and do some advanced study about menstrual flow or menstruation. You have your book naman sa science. So, do an advanced reading at 12.30 para pag 1 p.m. Somehow, mayroon akong kayong idea about menstruation. That's it. See you later. And please, um, mamaya ko kayo masasagot kasi we have meeting at 9. Late na ako class, pero it's okay naman. Yes, Miel? Wala po, kina Jixi at Kingsley po. Alright. Thank you po. Okay. Ah, okay, kina Miel. Okay, that's it for today. Sir, may module po ba tayo sa science at homeroom guidance? No, online tayo mamaya. May module po? Ay, wala pala. Wala. I mean, wala kayong module sa science. Sige po. Eh, sa homeroom guidance po? Wala din. Okay po. Thanks po. Okay, see you guys. See you class. Oh, Mag-usap na kayo after break. Bye okay po. Thank you po. Sure, thank you. Bye, 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 b